Hello everyone and welcome to the Ballard Couch for the Ancient Dungeon. We were in the forest. Previously we struck the Master Sword, dealt with some beasts or whatever. All that in the previous episode, go check that out if you want to. But if you're just here to see this epic dungeon, then you're in the right place. Um, right in the opening room, already got the snail, destroyed those pots, got some loot. Um, I'm playing this in hero mode, so that's why my hearts are a little bit lower and why I'm not getting my health filled by these pots. i got a decent amount of rupees. I spent them all in the previous episode to help repair a bridge that I'm not going to use. But I just like pedestrian bridges, you know? I'm a huge fan. So, without further ado, let's progress deeper into this ancient dungeon. Ooh. It's a very linear dungeon. I guess we'll strike this. With all the stained glass paintings. Yeah, this dungeon really appeals to the legend of the Master Sword. Which I have back here. See? Look, it's a Master Sword. My Korok's got it equipped. Oh! Okay, bye. Yeah. I was trying to move it. Ooh, it moves, it's real. <laughs> All right, guess we uh, go up the magic staircase into the disappearing glass pane wall. And now we're officially in the dungeon, I guess. And what dungeon would that be? An ancient dungeon. An ancient dungeon. What's it called? Oh. I'm stupid, I don't know the names of these things. Uh, I forgot to. Temple of Time. The Temple of a Time. Yeah, so it's a little bit more obvious than I thought it would be. Oh, this this soundtrack is just really good. I'm gonna pretend I can hear it and dance with you. Like it's just so perfect with the percussion. Oh. Alright, Minna, what you gotta say? Link! Don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there are always matching ones on either, either side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses? Take take a look around. My senses, you say? Okay. Oh, there's a ghost statue. I knew it. There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. Alright, just lay out the whole objective of the temple. For me, why don't ya? Okay, interesting. Yep, so now we learn that we need to hold buttons down. That's going to be a core concept of this dungeon. That's how it teaches you that right there. So, yeah, yeah, you got to keep an eye on those techniques. In fact, oh yeah, because there's another button there, isn't there? Or did it expect me to not use a pot? Oh yeah, so if you broke all the pots because you wanted the loot, you could have used that there. Also, I see two temple braziers right there, so that's probably going to be like an optional treasure chest or a mandatory one. Or an optional one. That seems mandatory. Alright, so what do we got here? Oh yeah, so we can learn here that there's pots there, and they signify that these braziers can be lit. So, with that hint in mind, let's he head over to these unlit ones on the other side, do some minor exploration. Oh yeah, need to not let my torch run out. I don't have any extra oil. All I have is superb suit. Because it's hero mode, health is really important. There's no way to get it back. Mandatory. It was a mandatory treasure chest. Because it gave me the small key that I needed. To Oh, yep. He's watching. I got a little parrot. Hey, Cody. Hey, yeah, what's up? Mm, not so fast. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over, and now we're so close, I can smell it. Once we find that thing, we can go home at last. Oh, gracious, yes. Hmm, young man, we're so close, so please help us find what we're looking for. Oh, I have the best idea. I'll be right back. All right, so there's lore with our tool that allows us to get to the dungeon. Yeah. So, yeah, if you tried to get up to this door, it would have been locked, and you'd have been like, hmm, turned around to see the... Spider. Oh, I hate it. 
It's actually not a spider. It's just an arachnid. If you uh, follow uh, Starship Troopers lore. Glad I can die in one shot. Alright, what happens if I do this? Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Alright, so... I'm gonna need a jar. I'm gonna drop this there. And... Mortal draw. But you didn't see that coming. I'm gonna open up this treasure chest first, of course. Always gotta loot. Gotta loot up. Got some arrows. So, yep. What, what games can do is they can actually give you a hint through the loot that you get through there. So, like, that's that's where the meme comes from. The most obvious example is, oh, you're about to fight a boss. Here's all the health items and health regeneration. So, it's going to be a combat scenario. You get arrows to make you think, hmm, oh, yes, I have a bow and arrow. Oh, yeah, we're matching hats. Awesome. We're going to go through the Temple of Time together, Cody. And then you can stop oh, the boss. Is that what you were going to finish saying before I interrupted you? Oh yeah, you fight the boss with all those tools that you have. So, in, for instance, it gave me arrows, so I shot that. Uh, it reminded me that I have a bow and arrow. So that way I can use that to solve the puzzle of, hmm, how do I get that off the button? Oh, I love all the different combat techniques that it can give you to get you through the battle. Alright, so what do we have here? Oh, it is an enemy. Oh, that hurts. Bye, baby Balan. Ooh, so that was a combat challenge. I needed to beat everything in the room and then it would reward me with a treasure chest. Presumably the, the dungeon map if I had to guess. Well, if it's a stamp don't no one has given me this animation. Oh, oh, oh. When it's giving me that animation, it's a core uh, dungeon item. Oh, this is the stamp. Oh, the camera is wigging out. Why is the camera wigging out? Oh, it's because of the bat. Time freezes when oh, you open up oh, treasure chests. Yep, yeah, but I spent all my rupees, so. Rupees. No, rupees are useful at this point. Oh, and I can get back by using that hook shot up there. Oh, that bounced pretty, pretty hard. So I'm. So I guess I just can't throw this. There's markings on the floor to tell you where you'd land, or to tell you that you can look up. There's bats invading this place. Spiders. So this Temple of Time has... ...not been used for a while. Oh. Yay. I say we squish him. Hmm. I remember you. Oh. Yep, he only jumps forward. That works. Alright, that's dead. And get some more rupees, get some more loot, some arrows, since that's going to be a prominent thing that I need to use here. There you go, you can shoot him down. And this time I land on him. Then I'm going to flex on him with my flourish, stab my hat. Oh, I can't do anything about that. Not yet. Ah, oh, the combat just feels so good in this game. Alright, so... Can't go through there, so I guess we go up. Oh, he's got a... He's got a weapon on his tail, too. That's a fun design. Alright, we don't need to flex that hard. He, he only got one shot. He's not an enemy worth flexing over anymore. Alright. Now we're... 
Now we need to use a previous item. If you don't remember, got the Beyblade. Okay. Got some verticality with the dungeon now. And we need to get a key, which I currently don't have. So let's see what we can do here. So I can't get up there. Oh, there's a there's a button. So I'm gonna go grab that. And then I need to dodge that. And then I need to move over here. And so then there's a... I need to bring some a second one in order to lift this up. And there's no timing it. And so we can go up or down. So this brings us down. The hand goes flying up. It goes like... Wee. All right, where am I now? Hmm, here. Thanks, I hate it. Let's go up. I wonder if we can go further up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to push it once more. Let's see what dead end we run into. Yeah. So this brings down the statue guy. Wait. I'm not supposed to know what that is. It's just a random bell, and I can't interact with it at all. But what I can interact with is the button over here. So I'm going to follow the inside line as much as I can. That's not even going to get around to me by the time I'm across. Unfortunately, I have to wait for that to cross. And then I'll just drop this guy here. Push him in. There we go. That lifts me up. And... I'm good to progress. Probably to get the key so I can go on the other side of the room. And the door's locked behind me. So we have a combat puzzle to solve. Probably to kill both of these lads. It doesn't one-shot it. Ah, unfortunately that's a guaranteed hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drink. Drink some of that superb soup that I got. Now, maybe if I can sneak up, I can get a mortal draw and just one-shot it. Ooh, that didn't work. There we go, that worked, but I still got hit, which is really unfortunate. Let's see what we have in these pots here. Hopefully a fairy. Alright. Kill those. Led me to get that treasure chest. That'll be good. And that opens up the way behind me. But there is still more to explore. Also, it's subverted my expectations. Also, I can learn that another treasure chest can appear in there. I expected the treasure chest with the key to be the one on the far side of the room. But it was that one after solving the combat challenge. So it was actually simpler than you'd think. Now the question is, we have all of these here. We have this treasure chest on the end here, which I could have rushed for, but I wouldn't have been able to get out. Alright, that's the stamp. Thankfully, that's the obvious one. Yeah, and so we have some buttons right there. I bet I would be able to throw it over here. Nope. Almost, if I could just commit to the throw. Yep, there we go. And that made it. But, no way to move it. At the moment, so that's just going to be an unsolved puzzle. Unsatisfying, but at the moment we don't have all the tools. We don't know what the next dungeon item is. I have the foresight and ability to know what the dungeon item is and the fact that I can't solve that puzzle right there, so you might get stuck in there longer trying to figure out how to... if you have dungeon foresight to know that there should be a treasure chest there. Then maybe, but I have a key. So I'm going to go in here. All right, so we have a theme with this dungeon. We have a gem here. If I hit it, the walls move. 
So that's something to learn there. We also learn are forced to bring out our bow and arrow. So that's uh, most recent in our brain. We have another bell here that's lifted. Now I can't progress any further, but thankfully there's this pretty obvious hole here. So that way I can shoot the gem through there, open, open that up. Then we have ourselves another combat scenario in which we need to accurately shoot. I want that. Which we need to accurately shoot this guy before he lasers us. Oh yeah, those guys shoot lasers. I've been killing them faster than... I've been killing them so fast that they haven't been able to. Getting frequent top-offs on our... Um, on that as well. Alright, we got the compass. So that must mean this was an optional room. Nope. Oh no, I can just progress. By shooting the gem. Moves the door. Blocks off my exit, but allows me to progress up the stairs even further. And because I have the dungeon map, I can see exactly what route is in front of me. I wonder if that one-shots him. I, by one shot, I mean I hit him with the full combo. Okay, this guy's different. He's got a little bit of a different design. Oh, he can counter my shield bash. He learns. But I can get behind him real quickly with the first ability that I learned. Alright, so we have a circle here. I wonder what that's going to mean. Probably a treasure chest. And... Or a standing spot for me to shoot this. And there's a treasure chest over there that I can get to. If I just feel like spending the arrows. Hmm. Ooh, he got me before I could get my mortal draw out. And that guy's armored. Oh, that's a... That's effective. Let's get behind. Oh. Oh, he gets up quickly, so I can't even hit him with the... With that. These guys are pretty combat effective. He's not letting me get around him. There we go. And when he went for the charge, I was able to take advantage of that. Alright, that was a... That was a fun combat engagement. They're able to f better predict my moves. They're able to counter them pretty effectively. And they don't let me go for the mortal draws easily. So, I wonder if there's a way... Uh, that electrical shock is going to be there for a bit, so I can't quite get to that. But it's just at all. Alright. We got this guy. I actually want to try to hit him with the mortal draw. Let's let him get close. Gonna, I need to stay locked onto him. What's he going to do? He's going to bounce around. We're learning each other. Alright, he's able to block that. He wasn't quite ready for that. And I can continue the aggression. He got stun locked and died. You gotta know your enemy to defeat your enemy. Which is why sometimes you just need to sit back and study them. Oh, the spider room. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Alright, let's just start with this. If you guys saw my drunk Skyrim playthrough, you, you might understand how much I like spiders. So weird looking with their big old bubble butts. They're not even full spiders, they're kinda like gomas. They just have four legs. But they move around like spiders. So pretty much the same. Wait. Not one shot them? Oh it does. That's cheap. So I want to 
my yeah, claw shot can one shot these little guys, so that's good. You know, stab him in the eyes a couple times, and that'll take them all out. So that's that combat puzzle solved. And I'm rewarded for my efforts with the treasure chest. I wonder what I'll get. I already got the map and the compass, so it could be another key. No, just rupees. Rewarded for my efforts. I can buy those water bombs. <laughs> already up to 134. That's about a tenth of my wallet. Alright, so here we learn about balance. Oh, this puzzle's pretty easy to start off with. Just do that. Then I can just jump over here. I can leave things unbalanced because I'm weird like that. Wonder. Can I get to there from here? Not quite. I'm just out of range. Didn't quite get the angle right. Ooh, I don't want to roll off. I need a little extra weight. In order for that to work. Yeah, so this is a little side puzzle here. I don't need to do it since I could just go through the door, but I want to do it because there's loot. Or maybe I do need to do it. Who knows? Ooh, and then I have other options right there. So I'm going to need that. There you go. Got that up. Now that's heavier. So now I just need to throw this back. Lots of lifting and throwing. I'm going to get super strong from this. And I can jump up to here. And now I can get up to here. Boom. I am awesome. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Camera. Camera got confused there. Yep. Go along here. And then I get the freest... How do I get off? And then I get the freest... Posole ever. As long as I don't throw myself off. A little scary, but we got it. I can transform and grab this treasure chest. What's in that other room? Well, options. If you can figure it out, there's actually multiple ways to go through dungeons. I wonder if this is where the boss key's at. I remember these enemies from uh come on. Yeah, I called these guys Ramus in the past. Uh oh. Yeah, I jumped right into that. That was bad on my part. There you go. I'm gonna immortal draw this guy. Got him. Oh, and he didn't hit me that time. Awesome. Oh, we have a hook shot point there. I can't get that. But, I do have this. Hmm, four buttons. I presume I need to press them all. I think I understand the purpose of... This requires you to remember what you did in the water temple. So this is a pretty good puzzle. Um, or, you have to... Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, 
you could get the freebie by doing that. Uh, by having the item when you come to this uh, dungeon. But you can solve it early. They give you that option by having a second one here. So that's cool. And get the boss key super early on. Although, that door is there. Um, with the statue, I need to get the statue back onto that button. Uh, before it'll let me progress. There's probably another door behind that door. With the boss key, so... Early boss key is pretty cool. I don't, I don't need to come back to this room. It's already solved the puzzle. The balanced puzzle. Very cool. Very satisfying. Very fun. Ooh. This is an interesting room. Lots of chaos. Yep. I obviously need to get those off somehow. At some point. But in the meantime, let's just go up the stairs. Alright, there you go. Got him with the mortal draw. He's hiding behind. Yeah, if this was uh, Elden Ring or Dark Souls, it'd be like, be wary left. <laughs> Enemy left. But, got them all. Yeah, and Twilight Princess, the only build that you can do is Vitality. Get a whole bunch of health. Can't really increase your damage. You're just all utility. Oh, it's lucky that I went this way. There you go. And that's how you can disable those electrical fields. You can find the button for it. More creepy calls. Wait, I wonder. Hmm, that didn't work at all. Okay, it works a little bit, but they all get out of the way. They know the danger of the Beyblade. It's actually a really effective way of dealing with these guys. Aside from the fact that they all run away. But more effective than I thought. Alright, you get a whole bunch of pots, a whole bunch of chances to realize that you don't need to destroy them all. I think I do need to kill them all in order for it to let me through. I'm gonna try the good old mortal draw technique. Got that one. Got that one. Ooh, that one. Extra freaked out. Then I got that one. So that gives me a treasure chest. Opens up that door for me. Oh, I miss out on that though. And I do have a key laying in my lying in my back pocket. Alright, extra 50 rupees for my troubles. Nice little reward. And then I can spend my key here. Let me see if there's any fairies in here. Alright, this camera is wigging out again. Yeah, this dungeon has been having me see a lot of different uh, visual bugs with the camera. So what's our mini boss? Oh yes, the dark nut fight. Oh, I remember. I remember. It's such a good fight. It's so dramatic. <gasps> oh, the dark nut. Oh, and I'm being dumb. Yeah, so this is where you use all your techniques. I'm going to try to hit him with the mortal draw. Oh, nope. Oh, I can't even jump away from that. Alright, so since I don't have a fairy, I do need a drink. 
Items aren't going to help me here. This is just a sword and shield. Crucible night fight. Although I do want to cheese him a little bit. Ow! He caught my roll. There we go. Got him with that. Ooh, he can literally strike. Ooh, he can bounce me off too. Yeah, he's stronger. So I need to roll around him. On the shield side. Oh, nope. On the sword side. Got it behind him. Now I can hit him with the full combo. Oh. Alright, let's hit him with this. Oh, no. He's, he was wise to it. Get him with the helm splitter. There you go. That's a good dodge on my part, but I wasn't able to follow up. Got behind him. There we go. <laughs> then he just throws the sword at you. And he's like, alright, it's time to duel. He becomes a lot more aggressive in this phase, but a lot less defensive. So if I can just... Keep him stunned. Maybe I can hit him with the mortal draw. Oh, he kicks. Ah. Oh. It's a good thing the shield is so effective. Man, I'm just trying to cheese him with the mortal draw. It's not really cheese since it's so difficult to execute. Ah, oh, no. Nah. It's just not coming out. Oh, I was able to dodge, but he was able to parry that somehow. Ah, oh, he gets me with the backswing there. Ah, oh, catches my uh, dodge. I'm going to try to get behind. There we go, that works. Shield bash. I'm really trying to commit with the helm splitter. Let me charge this up. He tries to punish. I'm able to knock him back, but I don't follow up properly. There we go, and there it is. Two strikes, I'm able to take him out. He fought valiantly. Problem is, it was against the hero of Twilight. Flex on him. I don't know why um, I'm forgetting about these, but like the combat in this game is just actually really good. All right, he was guarding something. What was he guarding? We've already got the other dungeon item, so we got this dungeon item: the Dominion Rod. Can infuse ancient statues with life. So it's a uh, wireless charger. A statue brought to life will move like its master. Master! Master of puppets and I'm pulling your strings! Twisting your mind, smashing your dreams! Blinded by me, you can't see a thing! Just come. What? Stealing what you do? Nah. -uh. This is my own song. I am Metallica. Master. Master. Right. Lead the way, puppet. Yep, so that's this dungeon item. And I'm gonna learn here. This is how you transport them. Now I just need to bring this guy back to where he belongs. So that dark nut took the item into this room and guarded it. So that way I cannot go to the dark nut's master, which is probably Ganondorf if I had to guess. But now that I have the Dominion Rod and I am now officially halfway through the dungeon, we're going to have to end it here. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one where you get part two of this dungeon and using the Dominion Rod. Ciao.